The other day I saw this screenshot on Twitter, which is originally a screenshot of a Reddit post in r slash Flutter dev where somebody was talking about how they spend so much time learning Flutter as their framework of choice, but they were actually having a really difficult time landing a full time job as a Flutter programmer just because there isn't enough job openings or companies that need Flutter developers. And the original poster on Reddit was like really stressed out saying like, man, like, did I make this giant mistake going really deep into this one framework? Like, did I mess up my career by doing so? Now, I thought that this was a really interesting topic because especially for people early on in their career. And I wanted to talk about this topic because in the developer space, the talk about language and framework is always such a contentious topic. So let's dive into this. I think it's really common on developer social media, which by the way, can you even imagine like sometimes I forget like that's even a thing, developer social media. I think it's really common on developer social media where people are like, doesn't matter what framework you use, you can do anything you want. React is overrated. You should use a real framework like Svelte or Remix or Nuxt.js. Or they're also like, why do you even use JavaScript? 99% of the internet still runs on PHP. PHP is the best. Which by the way, these are all factually correct. You're right. Probably 99% of the internet still runs on PHP. You're right. Maybe like Svelte or Remix or some other JavaScript framework is better than React, you know, except for Angular. Angular is definitely not better than React, but some people might still think so. But at the end of the day, you have to figure out like, why are you programming? If you're trying to build your own applications, yeah, absolutely. It's totally okay to learn and build whatever language, whatever framework you want to use. But if you're somebody that wants to get their very first foot in the door, they're trying to get the very first job as a software engineer and like develop their career, you are probably better off using the most common framework that is used right now, which is without a doubt React. Some form of React, whether that's vanilla React or Next.js, I think that React in general is by far the most popular coding framework for web development. And I think that you are gonna be shooting yourself in the foot if you are not learning that technology. And similarly with mobile development, now once again, I'm not a mobile expert, but if I had to guess, the most popular framework is gonna be either React Native, just due to the popularity of React, or actual native development like Swift for iOS applications or Kotlin for Android. And don't get me wrong, Flutter is definitely becoming much more popular, but it just still hasn't reached anywhere near the popularity levels of React or Swift or Kotlin. And at the end of the day, Day, while learning new frameworks and new languages is always fun. If you're trying to do this as a job, your first objective is to get a job and get paid to be a software engineer. You don't want to learn a skill that no one is hiring for. Then you went through all the hard work to learn something new to ultimately not be able to get a job from it. I honestly think that it is a privilege for somebody to be able to be in a place to learn new frameworks for fun. Like you really only have the privilege to learn new frameworks if you're already very like comfortable and steady in your career that you already have existing. Like really the way that you should approach this is that during college or boot camp during your self study period, basically before your career actually starts, just go out there and learn the most popular framework. You know, even if you don't like React, even if you don't like Swift or Kotlin, because it's going to be the biggest job opportunity out there. That's going to be the biggest job market out there because they're going to be hiring the most for these types of developers. And then once you're actually in your job and you actually get a little bit more of a stable career, then you can start learning all the different frameworks that you like. Because once again, there's no real point learning a framework if you can't get a job from it, because most likely you're learning how to code to get a job. And also in general, I just want to say, I think a smart thing to do as a programmer is to never just become like a domain expert in one area. Like don't only be a Flutter expert. Don't only be a React expert. And later on in your career, as you become a little bit more senior, get a few years of experience under your belt, try to branch out more, try to experiment a little bit more with other frameworks, other languages, just so that you can keep your skills sharp and just so that you can keep your total opportunities of potential jobs in the future as wide open as possible. So that's some food for thought. But that once again, that's for it later on in your career in the early stages of your career, just use the most popular languages and popular frameworks. It's going to be much easier to get a job that way.